All right, I've had a couple requests for the videos. One is to hold the board up a little higher so you can actually see the bottom of it. Uh, I agree with that. I will try to do that as best as possible. Uh, the other one, uh, Corey requested that I keep my uh, ugly face out of the video. Uh, I thought that was uncalled for, but um, I will try to hold to his request and stay out of the shot as much as possible here. What I try to do on these four uh, assignments here, or these four questions, was just uh, try to mix it up a little bit so you saw a couple of things that were different, still using the same principles that we did before. So we still have distributed property to start this one. Uh, we're going to have negative 12, and then we've got x, y, z to start with. So if I times x, y, z by x to the second, uh, it's going to be x to the third, and then y, z. Then if I do negative 3 times 5, we're going to have negative 15. Uh, it's going to be x, y to the fourth, z. And then if I do the last part, negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 6. Uh, and then I'm going to have x, y, and then that would be z to the second. So I just did all that, and I still have this part up here that I have to factor in as well. The 4, oops, I just covered it up to the 4th power there. There we go. The minus 4 x, y to the 4th power z. Uh, so if I look what I have here, um, this doesn't have anything to go with. This doesn't have anything to go with. But I can put this together with what we have at the top here. So I'll just put that combination down at the bottom. Uh, if I do negative 15 x, y to the 4th z and negative 4 x, y to the 4th z, that's just going to be negative 19 x, y to the 4th z. So I'll just erase this right here, fill this in up here, uh, and then that would be your final answer for this question. So for the second one, we don't have any distributive property, uh, but we just we have a lot of multiplication. Uh, which is just like what you do with the distributive property. It's just we're going to be multiplying everything straight in a line except for this 7z over there because that's adding on 7z, uh, which we'll have to wait and see what we have at the end to see if we can put that with anything. So basically, you could do this a couple of different ways. You could do this one at a time, like I could do this times this, and then whatever I got times this, and then whatever I got times this. That's fine. Or since they're all kind of right together in a line, I could just do this all at the same time. So I can just do 2 times 3 times 2, which would be 6, 12. And then if I just take the powers, I'd have y to the 3, 8, 9, 10. Because if I expanded this out, there'd be 3y's, 5y's, 2y's. All together, that would be 10y. Uh, and then if I still times it by that z there, it's going to be y to the 10th z. And then I just have to put my other thing on the end of it. And then if I look at what I have, I can't combine this together with this because we only have one z here. We also have one z here, but we also have 10y or y to the 10th power. So those don't go together. So in this one, this is going to be your final answer. And I just figured out in the last about two seconds here that if I move the computer screen down a little bit like this, uh, then I don't have to so much hold the board like this. So that actually works out pretty well. So hopefully you can see that pretty well. Uh, it looks like I've got, I don't know why I did it this way, but I wrote the first one way too big. So hopefully you can see the last one. Here we don't have any distributive property either, uh, but we just have to do separately what's in the parentheses. So if I times this first part together, uh, that's just going to be negative 10 x times y is just going to be xy plus, in those parentheses, we're going to have the exact same thing. Negative 5 times 2 would be negative 10. Now, if you want to write this yx, you can, but it's the same thing as this. So it would just make the most sense to put xy so you know in the end that these two are definitely going to go together. The last one, we've got 3 times 4, which would be 12. Uh, and then we've got x to the second times y, so that's just going to be still x to the second y just put together. Now if I have things to put together, I've got this and I've got that. 
So I'll just combine those two and that would be a negative 20 x times y. And then I've just got the last part that I have to tack on to the end, plus 12 x to the second y. There's your final answer. All multiplication for this one. So we can really just multiply straight across. You know, looking at this, since this is basically 1y, 1x, 1z, if we times just the front ends together, we're going to get 12. So that's going to be the first part of it. Now we just have to put together the rest of it, multiply the rest together, and see what you get. And I think the easiest way to do this, if it's all multiplication and you know you're going to be multiplying it all, is just pick out which letters that you actually have. So we have x. So I'll just put that down there and then figure out what power it's going to be to. So we got 1, 2, that's it. So we get x to the second power. And then I'll put the y down next. And we have 1, 2 of those. So I can put to the second power there. Uh, and then at the end, we've got the z. Let's see. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 of those. So that's going to be z to the fourth power. So our answer is 12x to the second, y to the second, z to the fourth and we just keep it how it is right there.